the, the story is set in, 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 at this, in at this funeral situation, and um, that's because that's a crucial I know, right and a crucial ceremony in, in Yoruba society and many, as many uh, African societies or Nigerian societies, in which uh, of the rites of passage that people have, that is, you know, being born, being uh, reaching puberty, uh, being married, and reach, uh, re some have maturity ceremonies when you're 50 or five, when you're reaching adulthood, and finally dying. Funeral is considered the most important because indigenously uh, that was the time you were going to join the ancestors and live forever and return. Uh, we believe in a reincarnation but not uh, returning as uh, other forms of life like tomatoes or something. You return as a human being also again and you join that family. That's why we have names like Babatunde, father has come back. You one day my mother has come seeking for me. We have these beautiful names that uh, Knowledge in return. So the departure, therefore, of a, of a family member is not a so is not a, a source of uh, um, sadness and sorrow in a very deep sense, because it's believed that um, uh, particularly if that member has lived a full life and has achieved. So the funeral ceremony becomes a celebration of life, a celebration of a life and an acknowledgement of what that person has achieved. It's a big party. They said traditionally it used to go on for like 40 days, but it depends on how much money or wealth the society the family has. And they have this, um, it's Christianized to, to go to church, and the night before you have a wake in which you feed the, your friends and feed the neighborhood, or the village, um, and then at the church also all of the uh, Descendants are sitting in front, you know, before, next to the coffin, next to the preacher, and there are also additional rites, uh, like you know, getting up to dance around the coffin of the departed uh, relative. You wear your best clothes, the grandest clothes that uh, are worn, and your jewelry. And so it is um, this ceremony, from this ceremony, that. Uh, the girl, uh, my heroine, uh, Morenike, is being excluded from her. They didn't want her to sit where she could be visible. Her mother, who is a modern mid uh, middle class uh, university person, is a bit uh, is intimidated by the uh, modern situation of uh, uh, legal Justinian law that she's not married legally by Western law, and therefore she was. Uh, uh, sort of uh, unwilling to make herself visible, but this young girl, you know, who makes makes herself visible and claims her place and wants the society to know that this, this was her father too. We celebrate the lives of people when they have achieved and so. We do not have the big funerals when people are, die young. That's considered a tragedy if you die about 30 or your 20 years old. So. That there's sadness and, and um, regret and mourning because people feel you have not been given a chance to live your life and to, to demonstrate your prowess and your abilities, your talents. And if you die as a baby, that's considered a real big tragedy that's in fact covered in silence and you don't talk about it, you don't have a public ceremony. I think the celebration of life of people who pass away is uh, after an achieved life is one of the beautiful aspects of the new culture that's come and that's also remained in uh, modernized that is in that is in 21st century new culture.